Hi friends, welcome back to Apple Quick Fix. This video is gonna tell you how to fix incoming calls going straight to voicemail on iPhone. First fix is refresh airplane mode. First turn on airplane mode. Wait for around 30 seconds and then turn it off. Then force close apps and check the incoming calls on your iPhone. Second fix is turn off do not disturb. Open the control center and turn off do not disturb if it is turned on. One of the Apple users said that this issue occur for him while sleep focus is on. Third fix is turn off silence unknown callers. First navigate to the phone settings. Next find and click on silence unknown callers. Here you have to turn off silence unknown callers and check if the problem is fixed. Fourth fix is turn off Bluetooth. Sometimes this issue will occur if any device is connected with iPhone via Bluetooth. So turn off Bluetooth and then check if the problem is fixed. Fifth fix is turn off call forwarding. First reach the phone settings as I said before. Next click on call forwarding. Here, turn off call forwarding and then check if the problem is fixed. Sixth fix is unblock the blocked contacts and numbers. First reach the phone settings. Next, scroll down and click on blocked contacts. Here you can see the blocked contacts. To unblock them, click on edit and click on the red button next to the contact. Then click on unblock to confirm. Likewise, unblock all the blocked contacts. Then check if the problem is fixed. Seventh fix is restart your iPhone. First, force close apps that are running in the background. Then turn off your iPhone. Wait for a few seconds and then turn it on. Then check the incoming calls on your iPhone. 8 fixes update your iPhone. Update your iPhone to the latest version of iOS and then check if incoming calls work properly on your iPhone. Ninth fix is reset all settings. First get into the reset options. Then select reset all settings from the reset options and enter your iPhone's passcode. Here select reset all settings from the pop-up menu. Again select reset all settings from the pop-up menu to confirm and wait until your iPhone restarts. Now check if the problem is fixed. If you have any doubt regarding this, let me know in the comments.